I want right now is that you notice how many branching instructions there are in this simple class. It swarms with branching. Like here when processing pending withdrawals. The first step is to select a convenient pending transaction and there we hit the branching point. This uh, strict transaction order boolean flag was supplied through the constructor and it tells whether pending withdrawals should be executed in strict order of arrival or we could pick smaller requests first and wait for more deposits to pay larger bills. This if-then-else statement is of the worst kind. You should definitely try not to have any such branching statements in your code. More on that later. The next method that is very interesting is this um, try select first pending transaction. This method begins with the if then return instruction straight away. This form of branching instruction is called guard clause. It guards the method from executing under conditions to which this method does not apply. Guard clause is quite different from proper if then else instruction we could see a few lines earlier. It doesn't have an else branch. And that is a fundamental shift. I'll give you a hint about guard clauses. They are the programmatic implementation of what is known as partial functions in mathematics. When a function does not apply to certain subset of its inputs, then we need a guard clause to give up early and skip function body execution. You will see this with some graphics later. There is one more form of branching instruction in this class. Public methods try withdraw and deposit begin with a very specific form of guard clause. This is the so-called if then throw guard clause. You will also hear the term if then throw design pattern. This guard clause is applied to public interface of the class. Certain values or combinations of input parameters are unacceptable to an object. Typically null references, empty strings, non-positive values like in these money related methods. If then throw guard clause is there to throw an exception should the caller attempt to place a call that cannot be executed. Deposit with the negative amount could be turned into a withdrawal and be done with it. But credit account class is not entitled to make such decisions. All decisions must be explicit. Deposit method must deposit money. Therefore deposit method throws an exception when faced with non-positive input. And so does the try withdraw method.